Right, so yeah. the, the contracts that are available, there's about 15 contracts for baling. There's one for fertilising. Um, there's four there for go. harvesting what... and about 10 for ploughing and then the supply and transport. So that's what that fertiliser sprayer could be used for. There is a contract for ten and a half grand, you know. For what? For fertilising? Parsnips. <laughs> or actually, hold the phone. Hold the phone. There is a contract here to make silage bales for sixteen and a half grand. Ooh. It's eighteen and a half if you don't take the equipment. But the equipment's oh. really decent though. Well, we know what we're doing next, don't we? Right. So the the most expensive baling contract is to take it to tall tree bales. Um, there's another one. Field 131 is for tall tree as well. Um, garden centre... Long Meadow, Biogas Plant, Town Stores, Long Meadow, Garden Centre, Guy Long Meadow, Long Meadow, Town Stores, Garden Centre. Right, so there's only two contracts that go to tall trees, but between them, they're worth about 23. Yeah. If we take the massive equipment, we only get one tractor, but the blue tractor could probably do the windrowing. Oh, yeah, easily. So you could cut, I could windrow immediately behind you. You could bail, I could probably do wrapping. Yeah. And then you'd come back with the auto loader. So it would be slower in that we'd be following each other around the whole field. So if you want to have the red KC um, tractor with the grass cutting, I'll follow. But we don't need to windrow, though, because you can set the blades to put everything in the middle. Yeah. So, big tractor goes and cuts the grass. Blue yeah. tractor takes the baler to the field. Yeah. Then when the red tractor's finished cutting the grass, the blue tractor goes back for the bale wrapper. Well, I'll try the blue tractor with the baler. It might be powerful enough. Because mm. then I can just follow you around the field, baling. Or I'll follow you. Yeah, okay, okay, right. Well, we'll borrow those items then. So let's uh, do this. Uh, all the work lights on. Habim's on. Yep, I'm hooking up the other tractor. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, this this thing really struggles to pull this barely, you know. And this is in its, like, travelling configuration. Yeah, it's a bit of a weedy tractor, that, isn't it? A bit. I mean, it was only our starting one, wasn't it? I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's old. It still has, you know, usable qualities. It's just this thing where... Oh, it's 50% damage. Ouch. Um, wait, how much... How much power does this crone thing need? Probably it's a lot. Big pack 1290. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, it's a bailer. Uh, crone, big pack 1290... So it needs 245 horsepower. Oh, okay. So about three of those tractors then. Oh, um, that might be why it's not doing a good job. I, I think it may struggle to bail anything. Um, right, so wait, we only got one tractor with that contract, didn't we? Yes. So what um, you wanted to do, take another contract? Well, we can't. We've got three, and they're all to ah. silage. Um, I, what about the windrow? Does the windrow need anything? I think windrowers are all right, aren't they? Um, um, looking at that windrower, that's going to need a PTO, so that's going to need power. Yeah, that's a big beastie. Yeah, that needs 150 horsepower. Oh, God. Um, oh, but we might get away with not needing the windrower, though. So it would be the wrapper. The wrapper. The yeah. wrapper. Uh, let's have a look. Bill wrapper. Um, SW4014. So that doesn't need any power. So the, the problem is going to be... We can't put the cutting blades on the front of this tractor. So no. we'd only be cutting two sides either side and then we'd be leaving a strip of grass down the middle every time. And we can't use this to do the baling. So then that's going to mean that everything's going to take twice as long. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't 
want to cancel the contract and miss out on like 10 Lots grand of, of penalties. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, you could have a look in the shop and see if anything's changed or switched over since midnight. Oh, yeah, well, uh, let me just check that there isn't a tractor hiding around here somewhere, because sometimes they sneakily leave them in places they're not supposed to. Uh, no, that's not all order. Right, I'll check there. Let's check the second hand store. Uh, sprayer, forage wagon, slurry wagon, defender. Oh, what is this little beauty? Massey Ferguson MF6S. So, oh, right. So there's a tractor. Um, yeah. Oh, it's only a little one, though. Um, okay. So it's 46,179, so we can afford it. It's got a front three-point hitch, uh, obviously rear one as well. It's only got 135 horsepower, though, so that's not going to be any use because that wouldn't even do the wind rower, which is the easier of the two. Might be able to run the grass cutters, but we might be able to upgrade it. What do you mean upgrade it? It's Because it, it's second hand, so it's already built. We just take it to the workshop, and then you can customise it. Can you? But Yeah. But I thought when you bought something, you configured it at the time, and that was it. Yeah, and then you can take it back to the shop and customise it. You can change its colour, you can put a new engine in it, you can change its really? wheels. Wait, yeah, yeah. so, well, this is 135 horsepower. It it will be useful. How much, wait, how much does it need for the grass cutters, the mowers? Um, so I think it's these, the pottingers. Um, so 160 for the pottingers. So if we, wait, so if we bought this tractor and we could get it to 160 horsepower, then we can use it to cut the grass and then use the tractor that came with the contract to bale it immediately. And then it would also be powerful enough. Well, I mean, it doesn't need power to do the wrapping. So we see if we can upgrade it to get it to 160, 150, whatever we need to get past the grass cutting. Mm -hmm. um, and then we would be able to do the grass cutting with this one, the baling with the big one, the wrapping with the little one, and then the auto loader with the big one. Yeah. Because that, yeah. that would leave us like 29 grand after we buy this. That's got to be enough to upgrade the engine, surely. Should be, yeah. So should I... Because this will be the first thing that we've bought. Exactly, yeah. It's our first proper purchase. And like you say, we need a tractor each. Well, do you want to check it out in the menu? Because I don't, I don't want to hit the button until I know that you're okay with it. Because I always do this thing wrong. Well, it makes sense what you're saying, so I think we should go for it. Okay, right. Oh, feel dirty. Oh, I've bought it. Right, where is it, though? Oh, spend some money. I wouldn't have done that. Oh, come on, don't do that. We've only got 29 grand. We're still positive, though. We've still got six grand. Oh, here it is. Oh, look, it's so dinky. It's yeah. so little and wee. It is only a little one. Oh, the thing is, though, it comes damaged. Like, I don't yeah, like that. That's fine. Right, okay, yeah, so. Right. You said that we could upgrade its engine, though, because we need to get mm -hmm. it, as I say, to like 150, 160. So, I've never done that. You're going to have to show me how we do it. Um, So, there's a, there'll be a workshop somewhere around one of these. All right. Like one of these one doors of these will open. This one um, does. Ah, yeah, around here. I think it might be this one. But All the right. door's not opening. Ah. Ah, there, oh, we, there go. we go. Oh, the little spanner icon. Oh, so... Wait, that's the symbol it uses for it being damaged. So is this maybe where we fix it as well? Yeah, it's just like a workshop. So if you bring it in... No, no, let me get all my lights put it on the ramps. Uh, beacons, because we're driving. Um, <clears throat> no, wait. I don't know whether to reverse it in. <laughs> just add some more damage to the thing. Yeah. We spend most of our money on something and then immediately break it. Okay, okay, okay. Right, wait, 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 I got this. I'm good at reversing. Put our number plate on it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Because we're supposed to have, like, a standardised plate. Um, PE54 TLG, because then it looks mm -hmm. like PESH TLG. Yeah. How is this? Tell yeah, you what, you're that's on. not bad. Right, so what do we do now? I'll tell so you. If you come down here to this little 
interact icon here and press uh -huh. R. Ah, right. Oh, so this just looks like when you buy things new, though. It's got, like, the configuration over this side and stuff. Yeah, so now you so can just, just reconfigure it. Oh, right, okay, okay. So serious talk now, because this is, like, money we're spending, and we don't have a lot of it. So mm -hmm. it's five grand to get it to 145, 10 to get it to 155, 15 to get it to 165, 22 and a half to get it to 180, and then that's it. So it's I'd basically the top. five grand more to get 10 HP, but then you're talking another seven and a half to get 15. So, oh yes, it's like five grand for every 10 HP, basically. I'd go for the most we can afford because then it's going to pull more stuff and it's going to be more useful. It's like future proof of it. Yeah. I don't like the way the back of the seat is like slanted. I don't understand that at all. Um, yeah, so that that's 180 horsepower we can get it for another 22 and a half grand. Um, yeah. do, should we add a front loader attachment? Can we afford to? Oh, we can. They're only 1,500. But do we don't need it at the moment. We, when we need it, we can bring it back and put it on. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you can come back and do this. Yeah, ah, anytime you want. Okay, 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 okay. Right, well, I'm going to hit the button. Mm -hmm. Custom F. There we go. Six and a half grand. We had so much. So we've got fields 102, 107, and 131. Oh, so 102 is the really narrow field, like, just up the road from here. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, 131 is over where we've been spending most of our time, and 107 is a massive one down near the town. Um, ah, uh, yeah. But yeah. They, they're going to two different places by the looks of things. So that one, oh yeah, so 102, which is the one in the top right, that's going over to where we are now at the biogas plant. Yeah. And then the other two are going to Tall Tree Bales, which is south of here. So right. I think we could probably do 102 by itself, because that's just coming here, mm -hmm. and it's just down the road, and then yeah. do 131 and 107 at the same time. Yeah. Because then so let's head there. the yeah. other equipment is closer to 131 because we've left it in the 102 field. Yep, I shall follow you. Okay. Off you go. Okay. Be -de -de. Don't crash our new tractor. Well, our old new tractor. So swath dropping, that's the one where it drops it in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we want to turn it on. We want to switch to the front. We want to lower it. Oh, we need to unfold it first. We want to lower it and turn it on. And then I just want to drive. Drive to survive. Yeah, it's literally going to be one pass down, one pass up. Yeah, job like done. The world's most narrow field. Oh, I really wish that you didn't have to tether the bales that you aren't putting in silage. Because, like, it being one fewer steps would be handy. But the fact that yeah, it's Yeah, I am the supposed to be bailing now, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Just when you saying that, I was like, oh... No, it, it's only because it's square bales that yeah. you oh, are right, having yeah. to come back and wrap separately. So actually the round bales is easier, even though it's a bit faffy with having to like kick them out when they're done. Um, the fact that you're not having to come back and wrap them separately saves a whole step. So yeah. I think if we are looking at equipment in the future, we should focus on round bales wherever we can. Might as well head back to the shop. I can unload at the shop, wrap them at the shop, and then just whiz them straight down and sell them. And then we don't have to come back here at all, do we? Yeah. Yeah. Do we get the bale wrapper? I'll go and grab the auto loader because I've not unhooked the bale or anything yet. So, did it actually drop a bale in the field? I don't think so. Because So, what I am I going to wrap it. then? Those two that I've unloaded down here for you. Oh. Why did you unload them there? I just thought it would be the easiest way, because then it was directly in front of you once you hooked up to the wrapper. Alright. Go, uni wrap, go. Oh, I like how it's got little wheels that are kind of caressing it. Right, and then... Do I... Is there a drop button? I think oh, I'm in the wrong... Is. I'm in the wrong tractor. It's in the oh. Ford. <laughs> um, unload square bale, why? And then we pick up the next one. We try to. Is it going to work? 
Oh, there we go. Right, I'm kind of in the corner though, so I need to be out of here. Oh, so that means I can just leave the baler here, the wrapper. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Okay. I might leave it on the grass verge because it's going to be kind of in the way here and I can't reverse well enough to um, leave it anywhere useful. Right. So then if I leave the wrapper here in this hedge, so I remember where it is. So I'll stand by the one that it is. I think it's this one. No, that's where you get slurry from. It's this one. Because this green oh, tank, um, I'm, I think they basically feed it in at the top and then it mulches them. Yeah, but how are we going to get the bales up there? You don't. You drop them off in front, don't you? Uh, they may need to go in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, also, I'm stuck in here now. How, how'd you get out? <laughs> I can't jump high <laughs> enough to get out. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I found an edge. I found an edge. That's it. Straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back. Keep, 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 yep, 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 back, 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 back. And drop. <laughs> you lucky bugger. <laughs> they just kind of like face themselves underneath. Right, so we're... Oh, so we've done that contract and we earned an extra grand. Oh, you need to load your um, collector. Fold it. There you go. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, so no matter where the sale point is, we can get it. As long as you can get to it. Yeah. Yo, excellent. <laughs> that was lucky. Lucky? I'll tell you what, I'll complete the contract because we didn't get any equipment from that one. And mm -hmm. that gives us like seven grand. Okay. Oh, look, we've, we've not only got like a tractor, but we've got like 14,000 pounds. Oh. Well, I'm in field 131, so you want to go across that little bridge that you fell down last time, and then you mm -hmm. want to just basically keep going straight, and then it's um, most of the way down that set of fields before you get to that shop. Okay. Yeah, this poor little guy only cuts at 9 mile an hour, even with the 180 horsepower. But yeah, the fact that it swaths into the middle is so handy for silage. Definitely, yeah. It's making our life so much easier. So yeah, this is my second lap around. I think it's going to take probably three laps. Not a massive field. Yeah. I think the other one's three, three times the size of this one. Alright, so that's this corner done. So I'll get these straggly bits here. So I've done nine bales here with the large 240 ones. All right, okay. There might, well, there might be another two on the machine. So if you're doing the big bales right now, which are 8,000 litres, that tells me that you need four and a smidge of those. Right. Because that would be 32,000. So four... We've well, got about seven here. Maybe it's nine. So four and a half bales is enough to complete the contract on this field. And aren't, aren't they both going to the same place anyway? Yes. Yeah. So it'll just start completing the next one. But the next one, field 107, for which we'll get 16 grand, needs 204,000 litres, which is uh, 26 bales. So that means okay. that we would knock off, like, we'd need just over 20 bales from that field. And then anything after that is profit. And that's why yeah. really targeting the bigger fields is so good, because there's more margin. So you get more spare bales, which means more money. Because if you can fill up um, a 14 um, bale auto loader and sell it, that's worth yeah. nearly 10 grand. So, yeah. yeah, it's worth doing. Yeah, chickens, it's just wheat, I think. Yeah, or or corn. Corn, yeah, that you can feed them. Yeah. They don't need water, though, whereas everything else does need water. Oh. Well, water wouldn't be super expensive. I can't imagine that's very expensive. No, it's just waiting for a tanker to turn up in the used market. But every property's got water running, so there'll be water on our little strip of land somewhere. We'll just need something to move the water from there to where the chickens are. Oh, sorry, where the sheep are or whatever. Yes, a tanker that you'd have to wait for to come up in the shop. 
Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I thought you were talking about a delivery of a tanker. Um, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Now, how do we get to field 107 from here? Um, not this way. Yeah, I think we're coming. Um, mm, 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 I might be stuck. I might have... I'm stuck. No, I'm alright. Um, might actually be I'm free. this way through here somewhere. No, it's not. There's a hard fence there. I think we just missed it. I was too busy. Oh, come on, Cementro. What are you doing? <laughs> you are so <something>, then. <laughs> I've got the power. I'm stuck. Yep. <laughs> we need the poor poor. <laughs> Call the police. Wait, I'll go up onto the grass so that you've got a straight shot through here. Oh, okay. There we go. I don't know what you're doing. Just stay behind the cement mixer. I'll, I'll be alright. Okay, if you I, say I'm, so. I'm snagging on something, but I don't know what the cement might mixer. be the cement. <laughs> right, you good? They're gone? Well, he's learnt his lesson now. Yeah, you showed him. Right, so there is extra grass in this corner, but that's something I'll come back to if I get time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and do very gentle corners in this field. And we're just bailing this as normal, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, this is all silage. That's the thing, if we stick to the same type of contract, we never need to be, like, faffing on with other, um, yeah. things. The only thing will be whether or not we keep this contract and its equipment, or because it's worth so much, with it being worth, like, 16 grand, if it's better to just take our chances with the equipment we might get now that we have our own tractor. Yeah, I mean, it might be time then to do some harvesting ones, you know, like cereal harvesting. Yeah. Some combine harvesters and things. Maybe. They might not be available until September, though. Because we're in July now, and the only yeah. harvesting that's available is beets and parsnips and carrots. Yeah, I'm not doing them. No. That's so creepy, you following me around like this. <laughs> the, yeah, unfortunately, half this field is, like, uphill. Although, actually, you are boosting me. I was going to say, I'll give you a push. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having another tractor on the front of your tractor. I do like the fact that it's getting bailed as we go. Obviously, yeah. the wrapping is an extra step, but I don't think it's a bad one because it'll get picked up as soon as it's wrapped. Yeah. Certainly a tractor that can move a little bit quicker uphill would be welcome. <laughs> just think when we've got massive tractors and huge fields and we don't Ooh. have some idiot pushing me. <laughs> so I've still got to do all the corners. Um, and then there's just that little bit at the top. Right, so I'll do the corners down here before I go <laughs> back up there because it's so slow to get up the hill. Done quite well, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a big field. Not taking forever. Well, we've done it quite neatly as well. Mm hmm mm-hmm. That's why we've got, like, two full trailers worth of bales left over. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, this setup where you follow me, I think, works better than the... We keep dashing forwards and backwards and swapping equipment and then... Yeah. ...having to windrow. I would say we call that a good job. Yeah, it's not quite going right in the corners. No, you wouldn't get another 79% from the rest of the no. field, so... Um, I'd say we've called that a good job. So, all we've got to do is go back to the shop, um, switch over so that with the smaller tractor, I think the bale wrapper makes more sense. And then if you want to get the auto loader, um, yeah. and then we just come and pick up all the bales from the two fields and then sell them and see how much handsome, handsome pro there's got. Profit, we're back. Excellent. Are you just giving up with hedges completely? The thing is, right, the purpose for the to get is too small just to annoy me. I'm not going to give them that satisfaction, so they can sort themselves. I'm, I'm going where I please. It's the right to roam. Oh, you whipped it round there. I know. I've been pra- Oh, no. Okay. Well, I was going to say I've been practicing, but... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, getting some of these grass cutting blades would be good. Uh, right. So now, you have to... It is folded up. Lower it. Oh, right. Um, 
Oh, it's this thing again. Uh, I love how it just, it's happier with you dropping it than lowering it whilst it's folded. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Just make sure it's folded. There we go. Right, so there's nothing around the back of the shop in here. Nope. Something around there, but nothing. Yep. So I'm going to grab the bale wrapper, which I left in the hedge. What am I grabbing? Oh my god, the deer! Oh, I'm grabbing the stacker. Yeah, the autoloader. Oh my god, those deer are going to kill me. I thought I was running down a child. I didn't stop, but I thought that's what I was doing. <laughs> Right, I got the wrapper. What if we delivered one of those bales? Do we need to wrap them for it to be silage, or is it silage because of the water content? Because if you can pick up the silage and deliver it without it being wrapped... They are currently grass bales, they're not silage bales. Right, so they have to be wrapped. And normally you would have to wait a certain amount of time for them to become silage. Yes. But in game, this version of the game, just instant silage. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, well, we're on our way to the field. So we'll do the big field first. Makes sense. And then we'll catch the little field on the way back. Because essentially, you should be able to fit all the bales from the smaller field in one go. Um, and then it's just a straight shot past the shop to drop them off. Whereas uh -huh. with this field, it's quicker to go up the main road that we've just gone down. I'll just follow you, yeah. Cool. Oh, maybe not more. Oh, God, I don't want <laughs> All right, bales, I'm here to wrap. I thought we were doing the small field first. No, we're doing the big field. That's what I literally just said. So we'll do the big field first. Makes sense. And then we'll catch the little field on the way back. So we'll do the big field first. Oh, OK. Is there any particular order in which you want me to grab these? Not really, no, I'll just follow you. If you can get them, I should be able to get them too. Okay. I will go slow up the hill, though. You have been warned. Takes a while, like. My god, could you use any more plastic? Look, right, we have to think of the environment. Exactly. The environment wants me to use plastic. The more plastic on the bale, the less in the environment. I'll try and spread them out a little bit so that you've got um, a fair run at them. It doesn't matter for me. Yeah, it's, it takes less time, I think, for me to load a bill than it does for you to wrap one, so... Oh, yeah. Easy. And these ones are being dropped off right at the north of the map. Where Northwest. They... So, yeah. if you see the where we there. pick up tractors from, there's yeah. a little shop just south from there, right on the edge of the map. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. It's that one. And the specific one there, that yeah. you want. No. Um, and I think it's like the middle one or something, but I'm presuming it'll have bales. So. I wonder how much is actually used as well out in the real world, or do they just use telehandlers and stack them on the back of trucks? I imagine, again, this is a, if you've got a massive, expensive farm that you can invest millions of pounds in, then this is probably used quite a lot, but if it's, you know an independent farm, then probably not so much. Yeah. It's nice when they leave a couple of bells out for you so that you know where to go. Yeah. I think it's that thing where, you know, there's that famous thing about, you know, if they don't paint ledges yellow in video games, people don't know that they're climbable ledges, or if they don't yeah. make the barrels red, they don't know that you can shoot them. They're explosive. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I'm sure they must have done some game testing and, like, everyone's like, well, where do I put the birds? Because obviously it looks like a grain door. Like, it's just a grill on the it ground. It does, yeah. But, you know, what's the other option? You have to bring a telehandler to sell them. No time for that. One of them, it used to be a flat concrete pad with a mm. conveyor belt, and when you unloaded them, there was an animation of them going up the conveyor belt into the star. Oh, right. Yeah, to be fair, that'd be pretty cool. It's all about efficiency. There are some modded vehicles as well, you know, like, uh, like tractor trailers. Right. But 
although they don't animate anything, mm. they do have a, an auto stacker mode, so you can just bring all the bales close to it, and you'll have like a massively stacked up HGV trailer. Mm. Yeah, I've seen a couple of things like that where it'll um, load pallets and things for you. Yes. Yeah. Um, then there's big warehouses that you can buy that you can just take the stuff to and then it'll stack it all neatly. Are in the you, you shoving my bales around? Because I'm trying to leave them in a nice neat line for you. And you don't seem to be no. respecting that at all. You've got one of them no. turned sideways. They were just there when I came. I just literally pulled up to them. Mm, seems unlikely. Just make sure it's not selling any bales. We don't want them on the open market. We're, we're supposed to be doing a named bidder. Our money hasn't changed, so they're definitely going in. Okay. But I think I'm dropping off at the right shop. That would be so funny if you weren't. No, you must have done, because it's at 28%. So. Yeah. Is it still 52%? That's worse. Oh, it's seventy three percent transported. Well there. So it's at seventy four percent now. I wonder what happens if you drive over a bale that's already been wrapped. Will it pick it Nothing. up and wrap it again? No. Oh, thank god for that. Yeah, bale is not supported. It will knock them about though. Yeah. Okay, well it was in a nice neat line. And then you've tempted me into darkness. Doing some precision work here, like. Considering this is mouse and keyboard, everyone should be thoroughly impressed. I can't believe you're still using mouse and keyboard. Yep. Well, because you've got more buttons. On a gamepad, there's fewer options to press things. But there is, you just use combinations, so it's left one and something. Yeah, I can't do that. I can press one key at a time, that's it. Right, I think there's only the bales over near you, and then that's it for the field. Yeah, there's Because that, that'll be you full there, is it? With that this one. last one here, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Right, well, there's going to be th four. I think we're going to... One, two, three... And I'm wrapping this one... Yeah, so yeah four. four more. And then we have the other field to do, don't we? Yep. Alright, oh, that's the last bale wrapped. Right, so I'll leave these in this field, because obviously, you know, I can't carry yep. them. Um, yep. So I'll start heading up to 131. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the short route will be for that, actually. Uh, I might just cross-country it a little bit. Hope for the best. Hope I don't end up in a ditch. Oh, no, I can get to a road here. Oh, yeah, so that one's done. Oh, but then it's sold 6,000 bales. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Right, before we do anything silly... Um... Sure it didn't just complete the oh. first contract as well? Oh, no. And the second one? It Yeah, it's done all of them. So we've completed cool. both contracts. So, so anything that you pick profit. up... Yeah. So, are we sure we definitely didn't already do 131? We haven't, have we? Because that's why we've had no. issues with the wrapper. Yep. Yeah. Oh, We'd okay. only done the two bales right up at the top. Ah, oh, cool. So that means that the four bales are in there, profit, and the ten bales are in the other field of profit. So yeah. that's probably, like, another ten grand in profit on yeah. top of the thousands that we'll be getting for the contract itself. So, because Pesh has done quite a lot and I had some time where I was having a nap, I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish bailing, uh, wrapping these bales and take them and sell them so that when he next is on the game, he's got some nice cash in his pocket that he can come back to. So, let's, let's just do that for him. Okay, right. So we've got the auto bailer, so we want to engage. Lower. Begin. Ah, oh, we need to make sure that all the hydraulics are connected. Uh, PTO's connected, excellent. So I'm going to go off to the right hand side. It's 
that one's picked up. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them to this store down here because it'll be way quicker to sell them here for essentially the same price as driving them to the shop that we were selling them at before. Then I can come back, pick up that bale, sell that one, and then we've got a little bumper cash pot. And then Pesh will be happy. He'll have like 50 grand or something to play with and no one will need to complain about anyone doing the wrong thing. Right, okay. So, unload bales. Why? Unload bales here. Why again? Nice. 12,000. Oh, I like it. So, if I go and get that other bale, then that could be worth like a grand. And then when we complete those contracts, that's another 12-ish grand, 12, 13 grand. So that's going to take us to about 45. So that means that we will have earned about 90,000. Once you take into account the fact that we bought a tractor. And why again? Nice. Right, let's go back to the shop, complete the contracts. See how much money we've got, and then we'll check the second-hand market. Just see if there's anything useful, like a bailer or something. Check the contracts, because new contracts come up all the time. And there's enough here in terms of grass fields, and it grows quickly enough that we should be able to get a couple more done going into winter. Because obviously in winter there's less to do, so we're going to need either some built-up income so that we can invest in something, probably buy some land, or you know, um, get some animals, um, Pesh was saying obviously maybe get some sheep or something. We've got a little strip of land that we can use possibly for that, so depending on how expensive it is, we need to maybe look at diversifying. Good contracts. And let's collect. Wow, I forgot there was one for 68. Look at that, 56,000. Nice. Right, so... I think that'll round up this episode nicely. We've got a nice cash buffer. We've got a small tractor now, a modern one that's actually got a little bit of oomph to it now that we fixed it up in the oldy garage. And I think for now, probably till at least we get to above 100 grand, we're going to keep doing bailing contracts. They're so simple. There's enough variety within them that we're not going to get bored doing them. And it's something that we can work together on rather than kind of you go do this, I'll do this kind of thing. And then when we've got like 100 grand, we can look at, well, do we buy a field? Do we look at holding out until we can buy something in the discount market? And yeah, just, just wait and see. But things seem like they're going all right.